Uh, so, uh, hi. Haven't done this for a while. Feels a little bit weird, but yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm here. I'm still alive. <laughs> Sorry for the radio silence. I haven't published anything for like two months, I think. Back in July, I was at my family's summer house and we had just celebrated Midsummers, and I was just uh, about to stay there for like two weeks <laughs> and just have a kind of vacation, although it wasn't a vacation at the start because I was finishing up my Skillshare class. So I was working on that, but then I released it and that was like mid-July somewhere, I think, that I released my Watercolor Birds Skillshare class, which I don't haven't even told you about. <laughs> because when I released that class, I was just so done with making videos and I just needed a vacation. I didn't do much of anything for a few weeks. I was just hanging out with my family and trying to enjoy summer as much as a non-summer person like me can enjoy summer. But I had a great time and when I got back home, I just wasn't feeling it at all with, <laughs> with YouTube and with making videos. I just knew I had to take a break. So that's what I did. I took a break over the summer and I actually started writing again. I've mentioned this in a few other videos, but when I had my burnout episode, back in 2020, I just couldn't write anymore, which is what I'd been doing before that. I've been, I'd been mostly writing and freelancing and doing lots of writing related stuff. And I suddenly couldn't do that anymore. It was like my brain didn't work. My writing brain didn't work. And so when I finally got inspired to write again this summer, I was very happy about that. <laughs> it felt like my brain was working again. I felt like myself again and I just felt like I needed to focus on that and not make videos for a while. <laughs> so, so that's what I've been doing. I've been mostly writing this summer. I've been getting more serious about my newsletter, my substack. I've been exploring different ways of creating content for my substack. Um, writing essays and writing newsletters. And I've also picked up my fiction writing again. A few years ago, 2017, 2018, I think. I wrote and released two stories, one short story and one novella. Stories inspired by Nordic folklore, like Nordic folklore creatures and myths and legends and ghost stories, that kind of thing, which I'm really into. So I wrote those two stories and I published them on Amazon. They did okay. In my, in my world, they did okay. They got pretty good reviews and they were up on Amazon and on other platforms for a few years. And then I, long story short, I just took them down. Uh, I unpublished them. After that, my sort of indie author little side thing has been dormant. And so now I've picked it back up again and I've just finished rewriting. I was planning on just touching it up a bit, my first short story, but then I, I started reading it and I realized how badly it sucked. I ended up just completely rewriting the whole thing from the start. And so that one's just released and it's up on my website. And if you want to check it out, I will put a link in the description. It's called Child of the Sea. And now I'm just about to start the same process with my other story, my novella, which is also a horror fantasy story inspired by Nordic folklore. But more on that some other time. Anyways, that's what I've been up to. And that's why I haven't published anything here on this channel. And I was actually planning on just quitting YouTube. I wrote a, a whole essay about that. If you're interested in that, I'll put the link to the essay in the description so you can read it for yourself. It's kind of like a summary of my whole YouTube experience thus far, like this first year of being on YouTube. My results and things I've learned about making videos, being on YouTube and just creating content in general and also the reasons why I felt like I wanted to quit. So I was planning on making this video just to sort of tell you about what's going on and why I haven't been publishing. And originally I was planning for the video to be sort of like a goodbye. Goodbye, YouTube. It's been a great year. This is what I'm doing now. This is how you can follow me. Farewell, you know, that kind of video. <laughs> and now I'm not so sure anymore. I don't know what I want to do with YouTube, to be perfectly honest. <sighs> I have mixed feelings about it. 
I want to be here and yet I don't want to be here. I want to make videos because it's fun, but I also want to write and I can't really do both of those things. There are only so many hours in a day and in a week. I just know that this hasn't been working for me. The way I've been approaching YouTube has not been working for me and I can't keep doing the same thing that I used to before. I can't keep up with a weekly schedule. I needed a break from it and now I just feel like I sort of need to reevaluate why I'm doing this and how I want to do this. So I guess that's what this video will be about instead. So here's the deal. I can't promise you anything when it comes to this channel. I can't promise myself anything. I know I need to switch things up. I need to do things differently. And I have kind of a vague idea of what that might look like. First of all, it's going to mean fewer videos probably because I won't be able to upload weekly videos anymore. That pace was just way too much. Even when YouTube was like my main job, which it has been, for the most part this past year. Even then it was really like breakneck pace for me. It was really stressful at times, depending on what type of video I was making that week. It was pretty stressful and it didn't really allow that much room for anything else. It's why I've been struggling with my newsletter this whole time um, because I've just haven't had enough creative energy at the end of the week to write something. So I will try to not be as rigid with my publishing schedule. I'm going to try to approach it just on a inspiration basis. When I feel like talking and showing myself and making a video, I'm going to do that and I'm going to release it whenever it's done. And I'm not going to worry about how well it goes, because that's the other part. <laughs> this whole analytics and revenue and making a living on YouTube thing has just been crushing my soul, to be honest. <laughs> it's so ironic because going into this whole YouTube thing with the goal of like being successful on YouTube, like being a good YouTuber, has really just made me fail at YouTube in the end. It made me just want to quit YouTube and I've been wanting to quit YouTube at least two or three times throughout this year and so now I'm just gonna try doing the complete opposite. I'm going to be an intentionally bad YouTuber. I'm not gonna worry about boring people, you know, I'm not gonna twist myself into a pretzel to keep people's attention and, you know, <laughs> increase my stats or whatever. I'm just not gonna worry about that. I'm turning 40 in one and a half years and I just, I have no more f**ks left to give, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm gonna become an intentionally bad YouTuber and I'm just gonna worry about whatever I want to say and how I want to say it and not worry so much about what people are gonna think about it. I've been watching too much YouTube for this past year and I, I guess that comes as a natural side effect of being a YouTuber. You're, you're just naturally curious about what other YouTubers are doing and I've been losing so much time to it. I've just been in a constant rabbit hole, <laughs> in a constant state of distraction. I am very easily influenced by what other people are doing and saying, overthinking and comparing myself to others. Those are just my two biggest enemies when it comes to creativity and productivity and mental health. And these past few months, I have barely been on YouTube at all. I've radically cut down my YouTube consumption and have felt much better as a result. I've been reading a lot more novels instead and, and articles. Getting excited about words again, getting excited about reading and writing and it's really been healthy for me. So in conclusion, my main priority right now is art and writing. That's what I want to really do. I want to be primarily an artist and an author and a content creator second. And because content creation takes so much time and effort, it's so easy for that to just overtake everything until you barely have anything to make content about because you're not actually doing the work. You're not actually making the art and, and writing the stories and you don't have anything to talk about. And I don't want to fall into that trap. And so I need to shift my priorities and I need to manage my time to reflect my actual goals. My main priorities right now is my weekly newsletter and my fiction writing. That's what I'm excited about at the moment. And I'm, I'm still painting and drawing, you know, I'm not gonna just drop that, but I'm doing it mostly for relaxation right now and not as much for work because it did get tiresome in the end to only paint and draw in front of a camera. <laughs> so 
It's been great to just take a vacation and just paint for painting's sake. I will make videos when I feel inspired to make videos and I will put them out when I'm happy about them. Sporadic and erratic, frowned upon in the YouTube community. Just very unprofessional behavior, but that's how I'm gonna do things right now. I'm going to be an unprofessional YouTuber. If you want to really stay in touch with me and, and everything that I do um, across my various platforms and passions, then I really recommend that you subscribe to my email list. It's totally free and I send out weekly emails right now, every Friday, where I sort of just talk about how my week's been, what I've been doing, what I have coming out, what I'm reading, what I'm thinking about, some you know great stuff I've come across online. It's kind of like a vlog, you know, I tried making a few vlogs for this channel and I just find it way too difficult, <laughs> to be honest. It's really hard to make a good vlog. I enjoy sharing just what I've been up to, you know, to not have like a fixed topic, but sort of just like share my life and what I'm doing and what I'm thinking about. But I haven't really enjoyed doing it in video form. It's very time consuming. So I view my weekly newsletter as sort of like a vlog, although it's text based, text and image based and not video based. So if you want that type of content and if you want to stay like more in, in touch with me and also with the other people in this little community that I'm trying to build, then then you're going to like my my newsletter and I hope you'll subscribe to it and the link is in the description. I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for staying subscribed even though you've heard nothing from me for two months. And thank you for leaving comments, although I'm, I haven't been good at replying to comments. Sorry about that. I read everything that you write to me and I appreciate you a lot for that. And We'll see each other again in the next video, whenever that comes out. It's going to be a surprise for both you and I. Ugh, I I'm so rusty at this. I'm just going to stop talking right now. Bye!